In this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, I'll be showing you how to animate your character using the Animation Blueprint and Animation Blend Space. Head over to Unreal Engine 5, create a new third person project, import your animations and your character. Once you've done that, go to Animation, Animation Blueprint, select your skeleton, call that Player Animation BP, go to Animation, Legacy, and Blend Space 1D, select your skeleton again, and call that Player BP. First click on the Player Animation Blueprint, drag across, add a state. Let's rename that to Locomotion. Click on that again, drag off from Entry, look for a state, call that Idle slash Walk slash Run. Drag off from that, add another state, and call that Jump. Compile and save. Double click on Jump and drag across your jumping animation. Click Compile and Save. Go back to Locomotion. Click on the arrow. Promote the variable and let's call that is jumping question mark. Go back to Locomotion. Compile and Save. Go to Blend Space. Drag in the idle at 0, 0, the walking at 300, and the running at 600. If we press control and drag it across, we'll see that it works. Click save. Go back to the player animation blueprint, double click on that, drag across the player blend space into a result, compile and save, and then promote the variable, keep that as speed, compile and save. Now to the third person character, go to viewport, mesh, then select your skeleton. After that, select Player Animation Blueprint, go to Player Animation Blueprint, Event Graph, and then go to Try Get Owner, and then drag off the Return Value, and Get Velocity, once you've done that. Drag off from there, and then get Vector Length. Drag off from the Return Value, and get Movement Component. Get is Falling. Drag for the return value and set is jumping, then give off the return value of vector length and set speed. Once you've done that, connect it to the update animation and then connect the set speed to the is jump. Compile and save. Head back to the third person character. Search for the left shift and then drag on the character movement and then Drag off from the character movement and search for the set max walk speed. And set that to 600 and connect the pressed node to it. Then drag off from the character movement again and set max walk speed. Search for that and then set it to 150. And then drag from the release node to the other set max walk speed. And then click on character movement in the Components tab, search for max walk speed, make sure it's set to 300 in settings, compile and save. Now let's try it out. So here it is, here's the final product. You can now walk and then run. And you can also jump as well. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe.